It is an ancient mariner, and he stoppeth one of three. By thy long grey beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stopping thou me? The bridegroom's doors are open wide, and I am next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set, mayest hear the merry din. He holds him with his skinny hand, there was a ship, quoth thee. Hold off, unhand me, grey beard loon, if soon his hand dropped he. He holds him with his glittering eye, the wedding guest stood still, and listens like a three years child, the mariners hath his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone, he cannot choose but hear, and thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed marineer. The ship was cheered, the harbour cleared, merrily did we drop, below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. The sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he, and he shone bright, and on the right went down into the sea. Higher and higher every day, till over the mast at noon the wedding guest here beat his breast, for he heard the loud bassoon. The bride hath paced into the hall, red as a rose is she, nodding their heads before her goes, the merry minstrelly. The wedding guests he beat his breast, yet he cannot choose but hear, and thus spake on that ancient man the bright-eyed marineer. And now the storm blast came, and he was tyrannous and strong. He struck with his overtaking wings, and chased us south along. The sloping mass and dipping prow, as who pursued with yell and bow, blow, still treads the shadow of his foe, and forward bends his head. The ship drove fast, loud roared the blast, and southward I we fled. And now there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold, and ice mast high came floating by, as green as emerald. And through the drifts, the snowy cliffs, did send a dismal sheen, nor shapes of men nor beast we can, the ice was all between. The ice was here, the ice was there, the ice was all around. It cracked and growled and roared and howled like noises in a swoun. At length did cross an albatross. Through the fog it came, as if it had been a Christian soul, we hailed it in God's name. It ate the food it never had ate, and round and round it flew. The ice did split with a thunder fit, the houndsman steered us through. And a good south wind sprung up behind, the albatross did follow, and every day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. In mist or cloud, on mast or shroud, it perched for vespers nine, whilst all the night through a fog smoke white glimmered the white moonshine. God save thee, ancient mariner, from the fiends that plague thee thus, why lookest thou so with my crow crossbow? I shot the albatross. The sun now rose upon the right, out of the sea came he, still hid in mist, and on the left went down into the sea. And the good south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow nor any day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. And I had done a hellish thing, and it would work and woe, for all averred I had killed the bird that made the breeze to blow. Ah, wretch, said they, the bird to slay that made the breeze to blow. Nor dim nor red like God's own hand the glorious sun uprist. Then all averred I had killed the bird that brought the fog and mist. T'was right, said they, such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist. The fair breeze blew, 
The white foam flew, the furrows followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Down dropped the breeze, the sails dropped down, Twas sad as sad could be, And we did speak only to break The silence of the sea. All in a hot and copper sky, The bloody sun at noon, Right up above the mast did stand, No bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, We struck, nor breath nor motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. The very deep did rot, O oh Christ, that ever this should be. Yea, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About. About in reel and rout the deaf eyes dance at night. The water like a witch's oil burnt green and blue and white. And some in dreams assured were of the spirit that plagued us so. Nine fathoms deep he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue through utter drought was withered at the root. We could not speak no more than if we had been choked with soot. Ah well. A day, what evil looks, had I from old and young. Instead of the cross, the albatross about my neck was hung. There paused a weary time. Each throat was parched and glazed each eye. A weary time, a weary time. How glazed each weary eye, when looking westward I beheld a something in the sky. At first it seemed a little speck, and then it seemed a mist. It moved and moved and took at last a certain shape, I wist. A speck, a mist, a shape, I wist. And still it neared and neared, as if it dodged a water sprite. It plunged and tackled and veered. With throats unslackened, with black lips baked, we could not, nor, we could nor laugh nor wail. Through utter drought, all dumb we stood. I bit my arm and sucked the blood and cried, a sail, a sail. With throats unslackened, with black lips baked, agape they heard me call. Gramercy, they joy did grin, and all at once their breath drew in, as they were drinking all. See, see, I cried, she tacks no more, hither to work us wheel, without a breeze, without a tide, she steadies with upright keel. The western wave was all aflame, the day was well nigh done. Almost upon the western wave rested the broad bright sun, when the strain, that strange shape drove suddenly betwixt us and the sun. And straight the sun was flecked with bars, heaven's mothers send us grace, as if through a dungeon grate he peered with broad and burning face. Alas, thought I, and my heart beat loud, how far she nears and nears are those her sails that glance in the sun like restless grossimers. Are those her ribs through which the sun did peer as through a grate? And is that woman all her crew? Is that a death? And are there two? Is death that woman's mate? Her lips were red, her looks were free, her locks were yellow as gold, her skin was as white as leprosy, the nightmare life in death was she, who thicks men's blood with cold. The naked hulk alongside came, and the twain were casting dice. The game is done, I've won, I've won, quoth she, and whistles thrice. The sun's rim dips, the stars rush out, at one stride comes the dark, with fat heard whisper over the sea, off shot the spectre bark.